you guys, it's Michelle with Design Home Daily Review. Well, we did the daily for you this morning, but we do have admin picks and a tip for the day, so let's just get right to it. Today's daily challenge was Quaint Oak Park Home. Style a traditional living room for this quaint suburban home outside of Chicago, Illinois. And I want to show you what the prize is. Look at this, you guys. I love it. It's a new rug. And there's a take it, you know, a quick peek at the room. And so let's see who the admin picks are. Congratulations, Hedvig. You are an admin pick today, and I can see why. Look how gorgeous this is. I love the blue chairs. It is so cute. With this light blue couch over here. And this particular rug was just a great choice, girl. And I just love the little side tables and this little behind the couch table. Very, very cute. Congratulations, Heavy. Congratulations, Risa. You are an admin pick as well. And oh my goodness, I just love this design. How in the world did you get these flowers? Did you still have them, girl? Wow, I wished I did. Can you hand me over some? <laughs> I miss these, you guys, but I love your furniture choice, and I love this blue coffee table. Very, very cute. I just adore it, girl. Congratulations. Nancy, you're in there, girlfriend. Check it out. I love these chairs. What a great choice for this room with the blue wallpaper, and I just think you did an adorable job on this design. I love this little light blue couch over here, and it's just so cute. Great job, girl. Congratulations. Next is Lisa H. And oh, look at this. I love this artwork. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. And check it out. Is this that new rug? Wow. I mean, it. this rug is just perfect for this room. And there's that coffee table again. I'm telling you, this is just so adorable with the white furniture. Great job, Lisa. Congratulations. Check it out, Denise, you are an admin pick. Oh my goodness, I love this design. How clever, I just love the blue along with these wood tones and then you were able to put this big old blue clock in here. You did a fabulous job, girl, I love it. Congratulations. Next up is Kim and I love your design, Kim. This is so adorable with the black, and I love these little chairs. These are some of my new favorite chairs. And of course, your designs are always smooth. This one does not disappoint. It is just smooth and gorgeous. I made it my thumbnail. Congratulations. And last but certainly not the least, this is Gaz. I love your design. This is so cool. I made this my thumbnail this morning. When I did the daily, it is just so adorable. I love the blue couch, along with the blue chairs. Great rug choice. So adorable, so cute, and I just love it. Congratulations. And now for Bandejo's tip of the day. Okay, so the tip for today is a continuation of the equal sign during voting. And I created some visuals because there is still some confusion surrounding this. And I want to make sure that I am, you know, being completely clear on what I'm trying to say. And so I'm a visual person. A lot of y'all are too. So let's just get right to it. Make note of this top design right here. Oh, and let me just say, I created these designs. These do not belong to anybody. We are not making fun of other people. Okay, I did this for a visual. All right. So this top design is the main design that we are um, using as an example, okay? And so now it is paired with this one. So what most people would do is look at this and say, eh, I don't like either one. We're going to use the equal sign and choose that and bam, so they choose that. And so what happens is these two different designs then are neutral. They didn't get picked. They didn't get a hickey. Nothing happened. It went literally, you pass the buck, it went back to the shuffle in the algorithm. It's being reshuffled again and it's sending it out to another person with another pair. Let me show you. Bam! It got shuffled and this is the same 
design that we were looking at with another one, okay? So they look about the same again. So most people that hit the equal sign are going to hit it again. And bam, it goes off. And where does it go? Well, it's neutral again. It did not get a hickey. It did not get picked. So it literally went back to the shuffle, okay? We're going to say that instead of pass the buck. But literally, you're just passing. You're passing both of these. It's just going back to the shuffle, all right? Same thing, you guys. This is the same design. It came out of the shuffle, went to somebody else's device now with a different design. It looks about the same to this person, so they're going to hit the equal sign. Bam, it's off again, back to the shuffle. But this time it gets sent to somebody with another design, obviously, and they decide, you know, I just don't like these chairs and I don't like this table at all. In fact, I'm protesting against this carpet. So even though this one might look a little bit better, I'm going to choose this one. So they choose this one. And so therefore, oh, so they choose this one and we've got a clock over here counting down. It's counting down right now. We're, we're almost done. The challenge is almost ended. And so it's not going to go anywhere else. This is the last stop it got. And so therefore it receives a 100 or an A plus, whatever you want to say, it got a five, basically, okay? That is how some of these designs end up in the top nine, because at their last stop, they finally got checked, and all these other times, they got the equal sign, which didn't affect them whatsoever, all right? You follow? So in a different scenario, okay, if you're just choosing then, instead of hitting the equal, let's don't hit the equal, okay, for this, purposes of this, and uh, we're going to say, oh, we like this one better. So we're choosing this one. So this one got a negative one. Same here. We're choosing this one after it gets paired up again, you know, after the shuffle. And so this has a negative two now. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. So we're choosing this one after it's a brand new one, right? It got shuffled, got sent to somebody else. So they're going to choose this one. So this is a negative three now. So, and we're obviously choosing this one, you guys. There's no equal sign being used here. It's a brand new design it's paired with, and somebody else is voting. So now it's basically got a negative four. The clock's running out over here, and it, the challenge is ending, okay? I know I didn't draw that very well, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. The point is, is that now we've actually given this some type of score. So we've downed this one because... This design was not put together properly, and of course, this one was. You follow what I'm saying? So this one will not end up in the top nine. There is no chance for this to get a, a high score. We're not going to see it because it was properly done, and because the equal sign was not used. And that is the point I was trying to make. I'm not telling anybody not to use, to not use the equal sign. If you want to continue doing that, that's, that's up to you. Everybody has their own perception of how this thing works. I am simply going by the instructions from what we receive from Design Home. And that's it. And that's the understanding that uh, I have from it. If somebody has something different that they would like to share with the group, please do so. But uh, I hope this visual helps you in understanding exactly what I was trying to say the other day. All right, you guys, I'm going to get off this thing. And I will see you in the morning so you guys can help me do the daily. We'll talk to you then now. Bye. And of course, I could never do any of this stuff without my fabulous admins, Krista, Ariana, Kim, and Karen, and all of you beautiful, amazing members out there who call Design Home Daily Review their home. Thanks, you guys.